You are right guys, it's Capcom Tom here and I am back for episode number 96 of Mission Manchester. Now we're closing in that 100th episode and I've got something special planned for all of you. I hope you enjoy it and you can see in our trade pile we have managed to sell one car. We've still got that Inform Ferdinand to sell as you guys all requested that I got rid of him out of my club and sold him for some coins. Now if you're looking for some Ultimate Team coins, go and check that link out down in the description. As you can see... We have one point from our first game in Division 1, having been promoted from Division 2. Not only promoted, we absolutely annihilated the Division. I think we only drew one game and won all the rest, which meant so we actually uh, took the title down and uh, pretty good going for us. So pretty happy with that and hopefully we can you know, continue on in this Division the way we were in the last Division and win a lot of games. Now, it's going to be helped if we're coming up against Silver teams the whole time, especially when they don't have full chemistry. It is a full Leeds United team. You can see that he's got red formation boxers on a lot of the players and I actually know this guy because I believe I played him I can't remember where but I know I played him for another series as well it's Matt Sergi I may have played him for um, playing for PAX so if you, if you uh, see him playing for PAX you'll know where he's come from and it is a pretty small world in the FIFA community I guess people coming in or running into each other all the time now you see that was a very nice back heel from Welbeck there to put Rooney through on goal who smashes that one into the back of the net to give us the 2-0 result so um, Matt did actually quite well to man you know stop me from scoring a lot more goals considering he was using a full silver Leeds team he could could have you know gone down like five six nil but he's obviously a good player um holding on just to that two nil loss so there you go we take down the points for that game and we're going to go into the next one setting up the team and uh, a lot of you keep asking for Moyes to put in the uh, or be put into the team I will be putting him in uh, in a few episodes I have recorded quite a few episodes already so that's why he's not in there otherwise I would have already put him in because I know people are going to be asking down in the comments section so our next game is against a 4-5-1 uh, BPL slash Brazilian hybrid sort of thing and uh, pretty strong one at that and you see that he goes through early and this is a massive problem for De Gea. He always when he runs out and they go round him, he never ever gets himself in the right position. So we're 1-0 down at this point. End up going 2-0 down. Again, the ball just going past him, low to his like left or right hand side. And uh, we end up 2-0 down. That's not good. It wasn't until the 42nd minute that we managed to get back into the game. You see there Robin Van Persie with a scoop turn to go past him and score a pretty nice goal. We then managed to get on level terms through Hernandez over the top ball to him he was in the space and he simply finesses that one into the back of the net to give us that 2-2 um, position hopefully we can win it 90th minute and there is Robin Van Persie pretty sure there was a foul on the edge of the box Hernandez absolutely clouted one of his defenders to uh, give me all the space but I'm not complaining we take down the result 3-2 a pretty nail biting result there as we did manage to get that winner in the 90th minute so good work from the team and we take another three points down it's looking pretty good for for our chances to win that title if we keep up the way we're going so into the trade pile you can see that we have bought a Mikkeli for 80,500 coins we're going to be listing them up for about 88,000 or 89,000 so that's potentially I believe hmm, about 4k profit after tax so that's not too bad of going on one player we also have a Javi Martinez that we bought for 140,000 trying to list him up for 160 and a Soldado that we bought for 25,000 we're going to list him up for 34,750 now people keep asking me even though I showed them the other day how to pick up the bargains all you have to do is see how many coins you've got so for example you've got a hundred thousand coins you all you have to do is put min price of about 30,000, max price of about 90, go through, find any informs or anything like that that have bids on them, check their price on the market, go back and bid on them if they're worthwhile. Just make sure that you deduct tax and don't get uh, screwed over that way because I know a lot of people don't realise, you know, the 5% tax is there and it really can cost them. So, we are in our final game. We give away a penalty. Ferdinand actually fly kicking one of his players. Mickley steps up and Mickley does convert this one. Uh, unfortunately, in the fifth minute, we're 1-0 down all ready got to try and get back on level terms Valencia doing all the work here skill moves with her boot and he tramps it there's Kagawa at the back post who's playing in that center attacking mid position where he really belongs his left mid positioning just is not good for him he drifts too much and he needs to be uh, fixed in like a cam position that was his best spot Anyway, we go 2-1 down, Cavani with a rocket shot from outside the box near post and he scores. Then, an unlikely scorer, Raphael, with an absolute bully. He goes through or past the defence, nice positioning, and then manages to hit that one into the top of the net. Then Hernandez does a cheeky 
cheeky steal from the goalkeeper when he kicks it out to put us 3-2 up. And this is all in the first 30 minutes, guys. This is, was an exciting game. Then there's Van Persie trying to get through, doing Ronaldo chops, doing Berber turns, doing who knows what other skills. I don't even know the skills on this game. I just do them. And uh, manages to get taken out in the box. So we take the penalty with him. And we're 4-2 up. That's two penalties in this game already. Notice that it's in the 40th minute, guys. Because we're still in the 40th minute. And what's that? Referee's given another bloody penalty. This time he's given it to him. Cheers for letting him back in the game, ref. All I did was run alongside him and press the B button once to try and put my foot over the ball and stop him. Guess he thought it was warrant or warranted a penalty. And you see there that Mickley does again convert in the 42nd minute. So it's 4-3. Dangerous result. Don't want to concede anymore. Oh. Oh. Valencia, that run was unbelievable. I love that. That little roulette and then a pass across the face of goal for Van Persie to convert. And we are 5-3 up, so we're looking pretty good. And that, probably the most ridiculous near post OP shot I've ever seen in my life. From outside the box at that angle. No, no, no. That's ridiculous. However, we did finish him off in the 75th minute. Hernandez there for the easy, easy header. And we take down that result. So, guys, that is the end of the episode. We've taken down another three points. We have won all three games in this episode. How good is that? Drop the video a like. That would be appreciated. But other than that, I'm going to have to leave it there. And I will see you all next time.